Hey everybody, I'm Burris. Welcome to Tool Crush, where Lowe's gives us a tool, we unbox it, we use it, and we review it. Meanwhile, my boy Brian's cooking up a stress test to see exactly how far we can push it. All right, today we're talking about the Hitachi Cordless Hammer Drill and Impact Driver 18 Volt Combo Kit. All right, I guess we're gonna unbox this thing. Finally to the goods, the good goods. So right off the bat, it feels better in my hand than most drills I've used. The clutch is smooth. The chuck's really smooth too. And this, as soon as I saw it, I'm very excited about. I mean, that's like what, four or five inches? I mean, that's just absolutely brilliant. All right, everything looks good, so let's go see how it performs. So we took both drills for a spin, put them through pretty standard testing, nothing crazy. So far, I'm impressed. So the things that I tested out on the bench were, you know, some softwood, a little bit of butcher's block, steel, aluminum. Uh, but I was surprised at how easily it drilled through. I had to have a little more patience, obviously, with the steel. But even the butcher block, I, I thought would be a little bit tougher. But these held up really nice. With a full charge, you could definitely tell there was a lot of power there. But this is three amp hour lithium ion. It's gonna last a long time. As far as the impact was concerned, this is something I use not just every day, but almost all day long. So this is a big deal for me. You know how short it is here. Uh, I do a lot of cabinet work. And so a lot of times I'm reaching underneath cabinets and trying to put my hand like through a drawer space uh, so I can mount a countertop or something. It's not a whole lot smaller than the drills that I use now, but that little bit of space can make a big difference uh, when you're working. So as far as whether or not I recommend this set specifically, as a pro user, I would say this for me would be an upgrade for sure, which is good. I say good and then like slap my hand. Good. All right, now that we've done some rather basic testing, let's try and do something a little more extreme. This is Brian. Hi, I'm Brian. What'd you build? A construction sandwich. What's it made of? Building stuff. It looks like it's about four feet thick. How do you expect to get through it? I've made some things. You ever done this before? No. Would you like to? Yes. Let's do it. All right, Brian, let's start with the drill. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. All right, you're almost through. Almost, there it is. All right, you're in the OSB. Kind of struggling a little bit with the OSB. You're still in the OSP. You're like halfway through, maybe? Oh. All right, you're in the particle board. All right, kill the iPhone. All right, we're still, we're still in the particle board. You're almost to the MDF. Oh, no, you're through the MDF. All right, we're at the pine. I'd say we're probably through the pine, but we're going to hit that cabinet grade oak. How you doing, Brian? All right, we're in the walnut. And I think we're through the walnut. That looks like butcher block. I'd say we're almost there. That cement board. That cement board. Uh, you're stuck, dude. Push. Yeah, you're through the acrylic. It's just that sheet metal. It's not moving. It's flexing. Oh, wait. Here it comes. Do you need help? You want me to help you push? There it goes. Yeah. Look at that. That surprised me. I think my best guess was somewhere in here. But that's, that's pretty amazing. That was kind of a workout. All right, Brian. I'm impressed. I made it all the way through. I actually didn't think it was going to get past this cabinet gray plywood oak, but it did. Awesome. So uh, what do we have to test the impact driver? I made a four foot lag. All right. Well, let's try it out. All right, test number two, impact driver. All right, first step to the easy. We got the pine, the drywall, the two by four pine. We're already through there. We're going into the OSD. You're about halfway through the OSD. It's going slow. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're just barely moving, we're barely moving. 
I think we might be stuck. It was just, I mean, it was stopping because it's saving the drill, essentially, is what the drill's doing. You know, not too bad. I mean, we made it through the first layer and we got stuck in the OSB, but overall, I think I'd call it a success. I mean, not bad for four foot homemade lag bolt. <laughs> Well, that was fun. It was, it was. I had a great time. If you guys enjoyed it too, give us a like. And if you got a tool you want us to crush, put it in the comments below. I'm Burris. I'm Brian. And this is Tool Crush. When I was testing these drills, I used these new flex bits, and they are awesome. If you want to find out why, check out this video for my full review.